Good morning guys, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And today I'm going back to uh, Home Depot because as I'm learning this hydroponics and the fact that I wanted to use perlite, <clears throat> which is fine, uh, for the idea I have for trying to grow radishes and, and uh, carrots in an early stage here, uh, the texture of perlite and what it does may not do exactly what I want it to do. I want to create, basically, it's non-soil <laughs> um, foundation for raising uh, or uh, growing radishes and carrots. Perlite is so powdery and it doesn't really retain water. So I'm going to uh, uh, use another uh, product um, and some, uh, uh, well, I gotta go get them and see what I can find first. Uh, I want to add coconut core to it. And so, uh, coconut core and then, uh, uh, another product, which I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll have that the next time I do the video to create my own soil that isn't really soil. <laughs> so, and then this weekend, which is today's Friday. Uh, this area will start getting uh, built to uh, uh, sustain our new system this weekend. So it's kind of exciting. But the other thing I wanted to show you is out in the shop. And so let's go out there right now. So we're going to head out to the shop. And it's windy again. And we actually got a little bit of snow this morning. Um, but it's going away really fast. And uh, uh, I've got stuff that's flying all over the yard. But it looks like everything held together pretty good. Currently I have a garbage can out of control here and that's okay. So uh, let's go in the shop and let me show you what's going on. Now as you know my garage is full of stuff and a lot of it's not stuff we want it's stuff we gotta get rid of. So uh, we've got this all this stuff up in this garage and I know it's dark in here. So I'm talking about my electrician. So projects go kind of slow in here, which is the bad part is it costs me more money. But back here in the in here, which I know is really dark, and it has always been dark. And that's been my complaint. So finally, if you look right here, ta-da! Come over here. And what do we have? We have light. Now it's not absolutely done yet. Because we got we're missing some light bulbs and they're on their way. And my electrician will be back here in a couple of days. So we finally got this lit up. And so of course um the next project is adding a 30 amp outdoor plug to the shop, like I pointed out in my other videos. <clears throat> and uh so of course we've got a tackle in that back corner, and we're looking up. Um, is where the power will come up from the uh, circuit breaker. He's going to string along the beam here and then go back to the back corner. And of course, it's so much clutter. So that's kind of what costs me so much money all the time is is the guy's got to work around an obstacle course. <clears throat> and, uh, uh, but, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> So we're slowly getting that, and the next thing that comes up here, this is one of my back bays with more stuff that we need to get rid of. And uh, uh, I've also got a light back here I've got to shut off. I meant to do that a week ago. So this, uh, we're slowly getting things thinned out a little bit. We can actually walk through each bay, but can't put a car in, can't do nothing yet kind of frustrating a lot of these boxes right here that's our stuff we've never unpacked so uh, very frustrating so uh, today I'm going to uh, head Home Depot get some more things for our hydroponics and then we're ready to go so just to give you an idea of what I'm up against here uh, you'll get a kick out of it I've got four old time engines in here these things here and there's another one right here and there's three more over there 
and Sherry's father, for a short time, got uh, involved in making uh, old-time engines, and he got a couple of them running, and he had a he was in a club, <clears throat> and uh, anyway, so I've got to find an old-time engine group that might be interested in those engines. They're really cool, but and they weigh a ton, and to me. As cool as they are, they're taking up garage space. So those are the kind of things that me and Sherry are up against. <clears throat> we still got so much of her father's original stuff that we haven't touched yet. And so as the weekends go by, we go, okay, let's clear this area. And then we'll clear this area. And we'll take one step at a time because it's so overwhelming. And you, like I said, when you come out here, <clears throat> Oh, that sun looks beautiful. Uh, we've got another garage there. Those are full of furniture or basically beds. And we think we got those sold. So, and I got a broken door. <laughs> <laughs> got to fix the door. So, uh, anyway, guys, I got to head over to Home Depot <clears throat> and uh, get, get some uh, supplies for the hydroponics. All right, guys, we're back in the green room and I just got back from Home Depot and hitting a bunch of stores. So uh, one of the things I wanted to do to thicken up my soil for hydroponics is to use vermiculite, which retains water better than permalite. But permalite definitely has its purpose when we do our tomatoes. And the other thing is coconut core. Now I can always seem to get this kind in a block locally. Um, but uh, I'm actually going to order more on Amazon. So today, tonight, this weekend, we'll start. Uh, by the way, this coconut core, you just put in water and let it turn into much more than you think. <laughs> so uh, we'll be wiring this up, clearing this out, organizing it for growing radishes right off the bat. And uh, yeah, we got a lot to do. And it was kind of funny, I, took, I bought some potatoes the other day, actually a long time ago, and I made sure and got organic so they weren't treated with any chemicals. And I actually got some potato starters going here, and they are starting to show little spuds on them. So, it's kind of cool. And the other thing is I actually have some broccoli here that I think it will take if I transplant it into a good... Um, into a good pot and give it some nutrients so we'll see what happens here but yeah um, why not I mean it's that far along um, so we got so much to do and uh, I thought I'd just tie in with you before we actually started the project so uh, uh, hopefully the next couple of videos you'll see is us actually having our first hyponic, um, <laughs> hydroponics uh, uh, experiment going so Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. We'd appreciate it. And uh, it's a beautiful day, but windy and cold. So, guys, talk to you later. Bye. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.